quick recap when it comes to NBA and college basketball. We're going to start with college basketball and then we're, we're going to finish off with NBA. So, all right. Uh, some games still finishing up. Like there's two or three games still going here. Um, they probably won't be over by the time we're done with this video. So we're going to look at the rest of the games, which are going to be 57 games that we have completed. Note that we have San Francisco up here uh, in our list of games that we would normally play that hasn't finished yet, but we, you know, whatever, it's not done yet. Mm -hmm. So did we hit 90% of our games in these, uh, these games where they are margins over 20%? The answer is we've got 19 of the 20 and, you know, there it is. Um, all the way down to Youngstown state right now, we're 17 and two and San Francisco, if they win, we'll make it 18 and two. And that would be exactly 90%. Now that's okay. I mean, it's pretty good. Does it result in making money? Well, what you end up getting is you get 14 and one if you grab the top 15 teams that were on that list. And if you somehow were able to spread them out in a round robin and bet all the different combinations, you would have made 72% on your money. Not a lot. You did hit a loss with my alma mater, Vermont. That is so sad. How, how did UVM lose on the road? Well, they were on the road. And that brings up something very, very interesting and very important. So I was looking at what lost and I was like, is there anything in common with what's losing? Yeah, it's an away team. Uh, this Florida Atlantic's an away team. Uh, Denver's an away team. So I go, yeah, uh, why would you ever want to get stuck with money on an away team? I've said that before in videos, and boy, am I going to say it again in this video. And here's why. Let's pretend that we throw all away teams out with the dishwater and never, ever, 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 ever take an away team, ever. <laughs> let's, just, let's just assume that we're not going to touch away teams and click home. Oh, what happens? Uh... Yeah, you win 22 game, 21 games in a row. That's what happens. You win 21 games in a row um, because they're home teams and the list is top down. Only eight of them were above 20% margin, but didn't matter. You crushed all of these. And you start to see things like this. If you spread everything out over a round robin, you win almost three to one. If you are just going crazy and you're like, can all the home teams win? I'm just going to take the top 15 home teams and I'm going to put 10 bucks on it. What are you going to make? You're going to make 11 to one. And that's if you took these teams that even had really, really awful lines, like minus 2,400, minus 1,600, minus 1,200. That, this is ridiculous. I said, it's got to be better than minus a thousand. Okay. Well, let, let's put a filter on that. And let's say that the money line has to be greater than minus 1000. What does that do? How many in a row do we have now? It's going to be less than 21. And the answer is it's 17 in a row. Didn't slow you down too much. 17 in a row. And what did those 17 in a row look like? They look like 44 to one is what they look like. So here you have something that the algorithm is kicking out that is somewhat reliable and pays pretty darn well. I know it's a parlay. I, I don't recommend 15 team parlays generally, but this is what this did. And I mean, what if you just played some round robins like at this level or the, the 12s, let's say, let's say you played uh, 10 cents even. It's a $45 bet or call it 25 cents. Make it a little over a hundred dollars. 113 bucks pays $2,394. What? 
What? Yeah, it's because you hit all 15. Well, I I mean, yeah, well, let's go back and take this filter off. What if you played it even more conservatively? Took that filter off. You played those teams with those terrible lines because you just really, really, really want to get winners. So you leave those games up here. You could have done the same thing. You still get eight to one on your money, seven to one on your money, seven and a half to one, seven, about seven to one, a little less than seven to one. Amazing. Amazing. Just so much winning there. So tomorrow, or not tomorrow, there's only like three games tomorrow. Saturday, when there's like 130 games or whatever it is, we are filtering by home and we're going to split those teams up. As you can see, anything even above 10% margin is having, was having no problem winning. So there's a difference. Look at the away teams. What's the difference? Instead of going 24 and 4 and winning 86% of your games, the away teams only win 59% of your games. Mm hmm. Really choppy. You do have some solid strings up here where you go 7, 8, and 1. Uh, 10 and two, the top 12. So wins 80% of their games. Lines are not that much better, even in it's that big, huge loss with my, with the place where I went to college. Anyway, we'll be filtering by home as we go forward. So I just felt the need to tell everybody that I'm adding to my phrase every day, look for teams that are above 20% margin and also only look for home teams because we want to start I want, I want to start telling you every day or basically I would be happy with every other day. If every other day, this thing hits the top 15 home teams, I'm happy. So it did it today on Thursday. There are not enough games on Friday. Saturday's an enormous day. We'll have to see what it hits, but there will be a lot of home teams to choose from on Saturday. So we will do that. Now let's go over to NBA. There's a game that's still finished. Two games that's still finishing, actually. There's the Denver Nuggets game, and there's the Portland Trailblazers game, which both have under five minutes or so left in them. Portland is winning by eight points. Denver's winning by two points. But we'll talk about the other games, and we'll see what the score is at when we're done with that. This is a pretty good day for NBA. Um the wager I made on NBA will be perfect tonight if the Nuggets win. So I'll go six for six. What did I play? I took the Magic to win. So I was like, I'm not going to say no to this, even though the line's terrible. Took it to win at one. Took Cleveland to win. They won. Stayed away from this game because the Knicks were at 73% health. So didn't do anything here. Of course, the Knicks lost. Probably could have taken Dallas, but I don't like messing with injuries like this. It's too unpredictable. Took Denver. We'll see what happens. Took Phoenix, they won. Took Chicago, they won. Took Minnesota as the underdog because I felt like gambling, they won. And I didn't take anything down here because I thought it was too low and didn't like the lines. And it turns out Indiana loses to Golden State, so that's a miss for the algorithm, but it was way down here. And Portland will probably win this game, which will make the algorithm hopefully 7-2 and two today if Denver holds on to win, but if that's going to be a close game here between the Lakers, it's going to go down to the wire. So yeah, NBA, like it, it has, it has a pretty good day. There was, there was ways to be profitable with this. So I'm going to call it success on both algorithms today, but the main finding is that home teams on this list are going to get bet to shreds the next three weeks uh, because we keep seeing, I mean, we can look at some historical results in here too. Just, let's just look at home teams for a second. I know the historical results are going to be a little skewed, but let's look every day. Here's 21 in a row with the day not done. The day before, retroactively though, we have some alteration of things, but does something like this, which is, okay, so top 15, although there's an injury here with Louisiana Tech, I don't know if they were injured before their game, but something like 13 and two, but really just one loss. And it was that crazy American game where they only put up 43 points. So this was a really, really tough loss. Um, otherwise would have been, 
Yeah, well, we're, we're actually going to say what it actually was. Six in a row, and then 13 out of 14, or 13 out of 15, or also 13 out of 16, but you have an injury down here. So, uh, for example, how profitable was this? Let's take a look. Top 15 games, if you bet the 12s, you lose money in this when you lose two games. You can't be losing two games, basically, is what's going on here. So let's let's keep going back in time. Day before. Here you catch the top six and then lose with North Carolina and then get the next two. Keep in mind where our margins are. Generally, we want to cut off at about 10% um, for what, where, when we're doing this. We do have some wins below that, but you really want to stay above 10%. Um, I know you're looking for teams to play, but you got to stay above 10%. So it's seven and one uh, the day before. And what about the day before that? Above 10% are these games. Well, it goes seven and one overall. And you just lose with North Carolina Central, which lost in overtime, if I remember correctly, in this game. So you can see there's there's good results. Although we had Miami over Virginia, you can see some of this slightly changes. That's why I say it's not perfect. But today's it is the perfect representation of how we did. And I mean, when you start seeing things like 44 to one and 21 games in a row, I mean, the games above 10% margin, 16 of them, like that's that's so clear and so clean to take that that you have to do something like that on Saturday. So we'll we'll take a look at that on Saturday as well and see how it goes. All right, good luck, everyone. Go Nuggets with three minutes left, and may all your picks be winning. I hope they won today. Mine, um, mine did okay, and I did not bet this appropriately. Everything I said in the video sucked. No, I, I lost on the video. If you talked, I, I only went like, I think I went three and five on my picks. Lost with Campbell. Lost with, uh, let me look at all these teams. I, I told everyone to play away teams. I'm, I stopped sharing. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but point is, whatever I told everybody in the video sucked, except when I tell you to play the teams at the top of the list and home teams, like that's awesome, as you can see. All right, so never listen to me. I always listen to the algorithm. I hope it picks one today because they can if you listen to the algorithm.